In this video, we're going to review how to print once our floor plans are set up in our title blocks and our title blocks are completely filled out. So first thing that you want to do is just make sure that your title block fits into the perimeter. I'm sorry, that your floor plan fits into the perimeter of your title block. Your title block name, your first and last, our assignment name, um, the floor plan that we're looking at, and then our page number are all completely filled out. Again, if your floor plan doesn't fit within the title block viewport section, then you need to come over to your properties panel and change the scale so that it does fit. After you've double checked all of that, you're going to go to file, down to print, and our printer name is going to be C1110BW for black and white printer. Right, this should be the only printer that's installed for you. So make sure that that is selected. And then we're going to come to this print range section. And you could do the current window, but it's only going to print the one title block. So instead of doing that, what you can do is you can bundle all of your floor plans together. So I'm going to go to the selected views and sheets. And I named mine already. But what you'll do is you'll select selected views and sheets and you'll press the select button. And then this window is going to pop up and you're going to check the boxes for the sheets that you've created that you want to print and turn in for this assignment. Um, most of you will only have your floor plan and your 3D view. Some of you will include um, section views of inside of your classroom. Some of you will include the ceiling plan level one. So check however many boxes that you need for the floor plans that you want to go ahead and turn in. And then what you can do is you can press save as. Um, and you can give it a name if you'd like. I named mine so that I knew what I was selecting. And then I selected OK. And then your name, if you titled it, will show up right here. Again, it's not a necessity, but it is an option for you. All you need to do is print one copy, unless you want to take one home. Um, and that's totally fine, too. In that case, you would need to bump up the number of copies to two. Then what you'll do is you'll press OK and then you'll go and grab your title blocks from the printer. Make sure that you have all the title blocks that you sent to the printer that actually came out. I'm not actually gonna print mine because I've already printed, but you would select okay, and then that would send that print job to the printer. And that is how you print your title blocks in Revit.